The Lagos State Government plans to register religious houses to ensure sanity in the state. The Commissioner, Lagos State Ministry of Home Affairs, Uzamat Akimbile Yusuf, made this known during a stakeholders meeting with Nigeria Interreligious Council, NIREC. Akimbile Yusuf said that the registration, which was supposed to kickstart by mid-2020, would help fish out worship centers that were being used to perpetrate evil in the state. And once again, Adeni Ikunu is here to talk with us. So, um, I understand the part where these places of worship can be, um, you know, can cause sound pollution. They could sometimes be ridiculously loud. But how do you regulate to tell which is true and which is fake? In the first place, I think um, I support the move in the sense that uh, many persons who have religious organizations run here and there, we don't really know if indeed the religious organizations uh, have been set up to fulfill the purpose, which is to help people attain a level of spiritual fulfillment, uh, particularly with their creator. Um, don't forget that um, in this country, we found a lot of very unsavory things happen when you talk about religious organizations and those who lead them. And, and I think very well that it's high time the government took that step so that they can help sanitize. Now, it's not even so much about noise pollution here, because if you look at it, that's even secondary. It is about entities who operate under the guise of non-governmental organizations, because that's the categorization of religious bodies. And you'd expect that if indeed you're a non-governmental organization, it presupposes that the service you render benefits the people, not at the expense of the people, benefits the people. I've chosen my word very carefully. Uh, it's rather unfortunate that many of these religious organizations are operating ironically to that particular purpose. So it therefore means that on the one hand, while the registration helps to know those who are operating within the over 3,000 square kilometer geographical space called Lagos, it is also helpful to be able to monitor if these people are living within that particular purpose for which they were established in the first instance. So it's a good move, but at the same time, I have my worries. Uh, I have my worries because we've seen in the north, I've had the privilege of living there, where certain religious organizations get involved in teachings, especially during elections, that uh, practically smear the other party. That's not the responsibility of religious organizations. In fact, you should be nonpartisan. You should be accommodating to all. And that is where perhaps politicians also begin to influence certain things because apart from the registration i'm aware that uh, plans are in place to organize conferences and workshops for these religious leaders to actually understand what it is that their job or their responsibilities and this should be in relationship with the state government